Okay, so here we go again with another player review. In this one today, we're going to be doing a defender. We are going to be covering the 91 rated prime icon, Fernando Hierro. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team, then check out the link in the description, igvault.com. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. So this prime icon at the current time on the market costs just under 500,000 coins. So he certainly does not come cheap, but you know what icon does. Um, does have a very solid looking card though and in the past I have really enjoyed this guy's items so I am expecting this card to be pretty pretty good so uh, hopefully it will perform as such so uh, let's have a look at the card shall we medium high work rates absolutely perfect six foot two good height as well and a three star weak foot to boot two star skill moves obviously we don't care too much I'm not planning on doing any rainbow flicks with my centre backs um, in terms of player traits we've got team player power head and so power head power header and solid player and in terms of in-game stats we do indeed have some really nice ones to discuss his pace as a whole is pretty solid for a centre back not super rapid in the grand scheme of things in FIFA 21 but still pretty nice pace um, in terms of shooting he's actually got really nice shot power of 83 and a decent long shot rating of 78 for his centre back not that we'll end up testing that too much but worth noting and um, passing actually looks uh, quite nice 88 long passing hopefully will be useful for uh, distributing out the back and uh, 88 composure is definitely notable too in that dribble in the apartment uh, now we come on to the more important stats for a defender the defending ones and uh, as you can see he does have a really good interception stat of 94 really good defensive awareness of 95 and a very good stand tackle stat of 94 his side tackle of 80 though really isn't that great considering his overall rating but uh, obviously as you can see we are going to boost that in the game with a chem style and we'll talk about that more in a moment and then finally physically he looks fantastic 92 jumping on a player who is six foot two aerially in theory this guy should be an absolute monster nice stamina of 83 very good strength of 89 and good aggression of 84 and um, on paper defensively this card does look outstanding so hopefully in game that translates quite well now in terms of a chem style for this guy um, he looks really good already so uh, we're only really looking to boost his pace so we probably are going to end up using either shadow or anchor and ultimately shadow is the most popular one on footbin so that is the one we are going to be using for in this video but to be fair anchor is also pretty good because uh, that maxes out most of the defensive stats and gives him some nice boost in the physical department but does he really need them that much probably not but would be a nice bonus but to be fair i probably want the pace to be boosted a bit more than i do the already good strength so uh yeah we're going to go shadow and with that shadow nearly all of his defensive stats aside from that slide tackling are maxed out at 99 which is obviously really good to see so uh yeah in the comments below let me know which chem style you would use on this item okay into the next match we go and we are up against a very very good side which features a lot of good players and a couple of notable red picks as well um a couple of players off chem but uh looks like a dangerous side so I'm looking to find some space. Sierra blocks well, but ultimately I've just put us back in danger with a poor clearance. Nice, Sierra. Well positioned. Don't like that, but once again, Sierra positioned well to intercept Son's pass. Nice interception from Sierra there. I actually pressed tackle to make a tackle there, but um, the game has read it as clearance. Sierra once again with a key tackle, but we have lost it out to Son there, but Sierra recovers really well from Hiera there we waited and we seized our opportunity when it came with Mbappe and we head in at the break with a surprise 3-0 lead now you guys saw from the clips how much defending we did in the first half and then in the final 10 minutes of the first half we just exploded and we're just super super clinical with our finishing and that's why we somehow have a 3-0 lead despite having to do a lot of defending but um I feel like the lead is justified we've attacked well and hopefully we can keep that up in the second 45 and hopefully we can keep defending as strongly as we have been in the first 45. Nice Sierra I shot him out of line there and I shouldn't have but he did recover nicely. Oh Sierra that could have gone very badly for us but fortunately we recovered and my clearance here was not great. Nice Sierra just 1v1 tackle made it look relatively easy too. Here once again, making the right move and getting us the ball back. Here is Sierra, gonna go to distribute long. It's another top through ball, and my opponent is on constant pressure right now, so there's a chance we can get to this. But unfortunately, Pope gets to it first. Okay, so the full time whistle has blown, and the game did end in a 5 2 scoreline. I actually thought Hiera was really, really solid in that game, and his stats back it up. 
Um, although the win in the end was convincing, in that first half we had to do a lot of of defending and you can see that just from the ratings of some of my defensive players Hiera, Varane and Suzuka being the standouts obviously um, very very decent performance from the right centre back in that game and uh, yeah happy days let's move on into another match and uh, hopefully we'll see a bit more of a test in the next match we are up against this Hyunmin Son and Timo Werner up top and a team of the group stage Kimmich in the centre of the pack a um, couple of players off Kem but um, Solid, st solid side. I wonder what formation he's going to play in game. Surely it will be the 4 2 3 1. Nice, Sierra. A little block in there with the stomach. And now, because of that block, we might be able to break. But Awa, as quick as he is, he's not as quick as Alfonso Davis, unfortunately. Sierra clears to the wing. It's an interesting clearance, and Mbappe was not far off that. Well, we got a third goal and my opponent decided he'd had enough after that. This foot freeze hour card for me has been so good lately. Um, but a clean sheet for Hero is nice to see him and Varane. Uh, once again, nice little solid performance. I thought Varane was definitely the better of the two in this game. But uh, let's move on to another match quickly. Game number four and it's another Premier League side. This time he's got Martial, Son, Havertz, KDB and also Joe Gomez to look out for. Um, yeah, interesting side. Once again, surprised not to see more special cards in it though. Uh oh, don't like the fact that that got through, but Hiera, good bit of pace to cover. Oh, nice. Hiera, just a very good natural interception there. Well, half time has come around and the score is just 2 1. Been a pretty tight game, to be honest. It's very end to end and very even, so uh, yeah, we're going to have to defend well in the second 45 to uh, keep our lead. Coming across, Sierra does really well there to tackle Martial and then clears it up the field, but unfortunately it's intercepted by Tellus. Oh, he, he thought he was going to get an easy through ball there. No, Sierra positioned well, simple intercept. I don't know what happened in the background there. I just noticed Sierra's like taking someone out just off the ball completely. Son, he's going to try and take on Sierra and he's going to regret that pretty quickly because the Spaniards dispossessed him and just put for a really nice through ball. For Marcus Rashford now, who we are just going to shoot across goal with, and we are going to be unfortunate hitting the bar, but our eyes there to tap it in and complete this game. Game over now, for sure. Nice, Sierra. Very aggressive tackle. Pass was a bit you know, iffy, but got the job done. And to end the game, hopefully in style, we do have ourselves a penalty, and we've gone down the middle, he's taken the bait, and we do have a fifth. And there is a full time, a nice 5 1 win to uh, finish this game off. Hat trick for Mbappe and another relatively solid performance from Hierro. Once again, my, my whole backhand was very good. I mean, you can see that from the stats right there. Okay, then, now the games are done. What are my thoughts on the Spaniard? Um, just a very good centre back card, to be honest. Really solid, and I'll definitely use this item again um, if I get the chance to do so. Did a really good job for me, and I don't really have. Too many complaints about the card, if any, to be honest, and we'll discuss them in a moment. But uh, yeah, very nice card. Let's discuss why. Uh, let's begin with just his defensive stats as a whole. They're very, very good, and in game it shows. His tackling ability was very, very nice, and um, he just seems aware. His positioning is very good, makes plenty of intercepts, and just does the job that you want a defender to do. He was just really, really solid in every single game that I played, which was obviously really nice. But his tackling ability and his interception ability is what stood out to me the most because, uh, yeah, he was very good at both of them. And um, physically, as a whole, he's pretty strong as well. He's not, like, ridiculously strong like a Van Dyke or ridiculously aggressive like I said, Joe Ramos, but he's got a good mixture in him and he is able to knock most people off the ball and dispossess them, which is obviously very good. And aerially, I also think he's quite solid. He's not as good aerially as I expected him to be, but for the most part, he's going to be able to defend very, very well um, when those crosses do indeed come in, which is good. I just wish he was a bit better at attacking those headers than he was. Definitely not saying he's terrible, but um, I did think he would be a little bit better in game. When it comes to passing for a centre-back, very good. I liked his short passing out the back and I thought his distribution over distance was also up to a really nice standard as well and finally his pace um he, he's quick don't get me wrong but i definitely feel like that shadow chem style helped him out a lot so if you're going to use this guy definitely would stick with that chem style so uh 
yeah, all in all, a very, very good card. Positionally, also very strong as well, which is great. He's one of them defenders that won't shoot out of line unless you drag him out. So, uh, yeah, that is good. And even when you do pull him out of position like I did, he does quickly recover, which is obviously great to see. So, uh, all in all, I think it's a very, very good centre-back item. And I don't think 500k is a bad price tag for him. So, uh, yeah, not a bad one at all. Do I think he's excellent value for money, though? No, I don't, especially when you can pick up the likes of Varane and Joe Gomez for much less than that so in terms of value for money probably isn't that great but it's definitely not a bad card you won't be disappointed if you pick this item up is basically what I am saying very solid card and as I say I personally will definitely use it again would I use it over players like Gomez Varane probably not but it's still a very very good centre back card and one to be considered especially if you need an icon centre back in your team anyway guys those are my thoughts on the prime icon fernando hierro hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please do leave a like rating on it in the comments below uh, do let me know your thoughts on this item also let me know which other icons i should review thanks for watching and as always i'll catch you in the next one